Okay, after you learn how to use the snap tools, you are going to the spline tools and in a spline menu. The spline menu is for creating and editing the splines. As you can see, we explained these four tools before and we are going to continue the spline <coughs> menu to the end. I will be explaining all of these tools one by one. When you draw a uh, uh when you use all of those tools that i have explained the previous lessons spline pen sketch and arc and smooth for example a sketch you sketch a line for yourself here and we are automatically go to the point mode for activating those tools we have to go in a point mode as you can see all of those uh, comment will be active and I'll be explaining all of them one by one in detail from this video on. And I explained before Boolean comments. So the Boolean comments are in a spline for splining. <coughs> in a previous lesson, you learned how to uh, insert parametric spline, how to use a spline mask for combining uh, the spline or how to use boolean command to combine them but we are very interesting tools for editing the uh, spline after you drawing or editing them and in a cinema 4d for example if you are in point mode you are in a polygon mode or in, a, in a, any environment when you right click Corresponding tools that are relative to the things that you are working will be appear when you right click. For example, as you can see, I'm in a spline mode. I'm, I'm working on a spline in a point mode. If you are in a model mode, it does not appear here. You have to be in a point mode for editing the spline. A spline contain point and the segments. These are not edge, they are segment, point and segment. Spline point. So when you right click, all of the spline menu will be open for you. And all of the comments are here. Okay, we are going to the first tool after smooth that I will explain. This is a magnet. This is magnet. The magnet tool is especially for a polygon mode, but they are added here to edit your spline very easily. All of these settings, I will explain them in a polygon mode. It does not work in a spline mode. Just you need radius and strength. Don't worry about all of them. Uh, they are special for polygon and point movement. Okay. We have just need radius and strength. As you can see, if I was, if I'm going to the move tool and want to move that point, as you can see, it's just select point moving the segment connect to it okay or if you go into the spline pen you can simply move your points but as you can see it's move the point and the relative segments but snap is interesting right click and go in snap and shortcut is m and after i when you click a snap, as you can see, it's automatically select a target point and click and drag. As you can see, it's move all the point neighborhood and their segment. Okay. And you can easily edit your spline with magnet tool. Hold the middle mouse button, drag to the left or right. You can change the radius or manually change the radius here. Don't worry about this handle that we end. You can change any number here. And hold middle mouse button and drag up and down and change the strength. Okay, you can change the radius. More point and more segment will be affected with uh, magnet tool. Okay, you can simply move your segments and points with the target point. As you can see, target a point and moving the point and segment uh, in neighbor or near that point 
important thing about the magnet is if you select some point and then going to right click and magnet the magnet does not work pay attention to that you have to deselect all points after that using magnet if you select a point the magnet just magneting that point or only going to the uh, move to click anywhere to deselect all our point and then going to the magnet and use it just it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release